And we're back with the K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament and Super Lightweight Title Match. Here in Nagoya at Dolphins Arena, we've got 6,000 screaming fans ready for this next bout to kick off. In the red corner, Tatsuya Oiwa taking on, in the blue, Stauros Exakutsidis. I'm Brian. And I'm Phil. Let's see what transpires in the ring tonight. Well, we have a pretty interesting match coming up. Um, mm. They have uh, Oiwa, 70 wins, 6 KOs, 6 defeats. And Stardos with 33 wins, 12 KOs, and 10 defeats. That's right. I'm always a little nervous to say Stardos' last name, but that might have been the best that I've done yet. <laughs> I'm not going to try today. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. Yeah, expect some big punches from both of these guys. Stardos, too, just with um, yeah, fabulous fighter, combinations. Yeah, I yeah, really enjoy watching his fights. Yeah, he's great to watch. He doesn't get tired. I don't think I've ever seen him tired. Oh man, his conditioning is great. Everything um, comes in a combination. Ooh, Ooh, that a, was a big hit by Oiwa. Just a clubbing Ooh, right oh, hand. Oh, Way to start things off with a bang. Yeah. Shook him up a little bit there. Palm of his glove, yeah, yeah. Man. Boom. Mm. Yep, well, Oiwa definitely with a, a lot to deal with here in Stoutos. The star is, uh, yeah, just doesn't stop. Yeah, clean, efficient, powerful. He's he's got, you know, all of his skills are really strong. Mm. He moves his feet well, gets in and out, has tight defense. He's like yeah. was really mm -hmm. um, leveraging some good power. Here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't usually see that in. Uh, Fights against Stardos. Uh, he's usually the one that's being more aggressive. Mm. Ooh, ooh, okay, interesting combo there. Yeah, fancy. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like he fainted with the, yeah, with the spinning, spinning back, back kick in order to throw one, two, one two after. I really, you know what? I'm I really like the way he's just clubbing that right hand mm -hmm. on the guard. Um, it's kind of an interesting approach. Rather than trying to pick him apart with jabs or low kicks, mm -hmm. he's kind of blasting away on the guard early. Mm -hmm. Maybe getting Stauros to be a little wary of his power. Yeah. If he's getting punched, he's getting punched at the end of the day. <laughs> whether, yep. it's, yeah, it's right. whether it's through a guard or not, it's yep. still, still going to trip away at your uh, energy. Ooh, big knee. Ooh, and snuck in a hook. Yeah. Wow. Ooh, well, looking real good here, man. I think he's throwing Stauros off a little bit oh, just yeah. with his approach. Just, just taking it to him. You know, I knew Oiwa was powerful, but he's really displaying um, his power really well yeah. here. Ooh, wow, I've never seen Stardust nice. in this situation before. No. And not in the first round. He's hurt or something, because he does—he never stays in that corner like that. Whoa! Ooh. No, that didn't land super clean necessarily, no. but still, all that energy, you've got to absorb it with your guard. That. Yeah. It's transferred into your body. Mm -hmm. It hurts. Yeah. It wears you down. Wow. And he's already taken two or three real clubbing shots mm -hmm. on the other side. Oh, uh, I, I wow. like the way he came out in that wow. round there. I, just have I don't remember him fighting like this in his, his last few fights. Man, he looks really clean here. Yeah. He looks just uh, aggressive. And yeah, much more kind aggressive. Of nasty yeah, and yeah. confident. No, he's coming out. That was, that was a great round there for Oiwa. Yeah. Imagining Stauros was not expecting the round to go this no. way. No. Yeah. <laughs> Threw their knee there for good measure. Yeah, we was coming to pick up the W, man. It'll be interesting to see um, because we don't see Stauros in this position very often. What, how he deals with yeah. what he comes yeah. out and does here in the second round. I imagine he's going to come out pretty, pretty uh, aggressive. Mm. Either jumping knee or, or something to throw Oiwa off. Yeah, he's, he's should, it should definitely not be letting those big, huge shots impact his guard as much this round. 
Oh, oh. Well. Ooh, a good, nice little series to the body with the step back. Yeah. He's putting Ooh. on the pressure himself. Whoa! But why what? It was a great kick because he sent it behind the right hand. He threw the right hand out, um, whether it was an intentional mm -hmm. feint or it was just that his kick came afterwards. The right hand then blocks the vision of his opponent so the kick can land, mm. come through. Yeah, a really sneaky technique. Yeah. So. I like that. Oh, he was not necessarily relying on combos so much here. Mm -hmm. He's, he's kind of fighting a bit unorthodox. Yeah. You know, and to do so, oof. Oh, Ooh, wow. big knee Great there. combo there for Stavros. Another big knee there. Another jumping oh, That, that was a, a real great combo because he, he stepped through on each punch, pushed him to the ropes, and then as Oiwa hits the ropes, it's going to send him back, and he, he timed it into a knee. Mm -hmm. So, that, I mean, that's just that's a very veteran combo yeah. there. Oiwai having to absorb yep. some punishment on Ooh. his guard. Ooh. Whoa! Wow, both these Whoa. guys are letting the big, big ones go. We have it. But Stalin's doing a good job. Oh, of course. Eating up that space and in using his more combination heavy mm -hmm. attack. Mm. Oh! I'd be careful. Oh! Ah! Yeah, he had a big ah, one. Ah, big swing and a miss. Oh, what's going on here? Mouthpiece. The mouthpiece. Yeah, he had a big right hand while he was looking away as well. Yeah. You know, it's one thing to get hit, but when you can't see the shot, yeah. um, you're not ready for it. Yeah. It'd be that much more impactful. There's some real great exchanges yeah. here. Oh, well. They can capitalize on that. Yeah, he, he had lost some, um, some rhythm there in the beginning of the round, but he just took it back yeah. with that big right hand there at the end. Stowers just letting those big hooks go. He's got to be careful, though. Ooh. He fights better when he's a little more compact. Yeah. If he just lets the big hooks go, he's going to put himself, open himself up to some counters. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. We will move in his head, looking for the counter himself, but then running right into Stowers' yeah. left hook. Pretty even second round here. Yeah, what a battle. The fighter's looking a bit, a bit tired. Yeah. Yeah, they just both ended up, just ended up unloading huge mm. shots. <laughs> wow, <laughs> amazing head movement by Oiwa. Yeah. I was getting a little wild, man. I, yeah. He fights better when he's tight. Of course, one of those big shots could land, but it's always risky. Wow, interesting oh, round for both, really. both fighters, yeah. It's great to see these guys let the heat go. Mm -hmm. But surprising, it's made it the, this far, you know, no, mm -hmm. no one's got no one's gotten yet. dropped yet. Oof. That caught him a little bit, but he was able to recover. Yeah, yep. And then Imp went kind of went back a little, kind of behind the ear there. Stauros and Away were both proven they've mm -hmm. got real solid chins oh, as yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's see what happens in this, in this third round. And, um, I have no idea. I think they're probably going to continue where they left off. Um, yeah, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to say who's, um, who's pulled away at this point. You know, way with the great first round. Staros had probably more more of his own rhythm in that second round, but Oiwa had some good moments as well. Yeah, they, they, it's going to be uh, really important for one of them to pull away here. Mm -hmm. Show some dominance in the third round. Tight guard. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Love that. Love. I love that kick, man. The uh, double uh, front leg. Yeah, going to the inside of yeah. your opponent's front leg and then bringing it up to the liver. Yeah. Now, real sneaky attack. Yeah. I was doing well, but finding himself in the corner here, mm. we'll see if Oiwa can do anything with Ooh. it. Nice knee. Ooh, nice. I really like that. Ooh. Oh, if he need a knee of his own. Yeah, both these guys are just bearing down now mm -hmm. and fighting in the phone booth, man. Yeah. 
who are looking to, to drain, Ooh. to drain Starship and his energy. Oh, he with those big right hands, letting him go again. So now we're able to defend and push him away, but then Oi, we're right back in there. It's just mm -hmm. so exhausting. Wow. Well, we have just two minutes, just under two minutes left. Both fighters evenly matched. This is, uh, they have to dig deep. Yeah, this, yeah. Um, if they want to get this win in this third round. Oh, he was putting the pressure on here, but he's got to use it to create, yeah, just like that, fire the right hand. He's got to create some chances and then take advantage of them. Staros has to watch out because, um, you know, they were, I would imagine, would be oh, we go. be getting the points. Yeah, we were with some phenomenal power shots here. He has, to get, he has to get out that corner, man. He has to work, work the ring. He's, yeah. he's just losing points now, and there you go. Yep, getting himself out. Yeah, we're getting him on the ropes, mm -hmm. but this is better than the corner. Yeah. Ideally, Staros can get back to that center portion of the ring. Crowd is trying for Tatsuya. Yeah, just displaying some real heavy punches. Now getting a little mm -hmm. wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Needs to stay composed here. 40 seconds is, is a short amount of time, but it can be an eternity if you get rocked in the ring. Oh, yeah. Oof, oof. Wow. So I was recovered a little bit here. Mm -hmm. what puts these good moments together. Needs to take advantage of that, oh, yeah. though. 20 seconds left now. Kind of falling off his rhythm again. Oh, yeah. oh Dallas is capitalizing on that. Oh, yeah, both guys digging deep with the heavy punches. Oof. Three seconds. Ooh. Oh, come over. Oh, can't be that hard, hard, hard to call. Yeah, real close fight. Um, Oiwa, oh, I'm really impressed yeah. with, uh, with the power on that right hand. Um, you know, if you could just bury it up a little bit more with you know, some softer, mm -hmm. quicker shots. Yeah. And he had some real moments of brilliance. Yeah. Um, just a little, too far between to yeah. really clinch the fight 100%. It, it'll be interesting to see what the judges say here. Yeah. I mean, I think another, another big, big, big factor too is that um, Staros is an excellent fighter and he's not easy to put down. Oh. <laughs> he absorbed some huge shots. I mean, for ring control in that round, you got to give it to Oil. Oh, yeah, he yeah. kept him in the corner most of the round. Yeah. So. Yeah, excellent excellent fight. Fight. Really even Yamazaki, 29, 28, 28. Jatsi Okada, Sanju Tai, Mizu Q. Ako, we are. There you have it. Jatsi Ko, Mizu Q, Tai, Mizu, Hachi. The ring, the, the ring control, yeah. and the first, definitely the first two, two and a half rounds, most, probably half of the third. The yeah. Round, maybe. Well, and for power punch stats and clean hits, you know, Oiwa got the right hand through a few more times. Great match. Yeah. Um, Big win there for Oiwa. Yeah, I you know I love I love watching Saros fight, and I hope they bring him back out. Big win for Oiwa yeah. for sure. E-Collection Yeah, both guys getting pretty wild at the end. Yeah. Um, with the power shots, just wanting the knockout. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah see most people would have been down, man, but he man. Just, just hung in there. Yeah, what a chin on Staros. I, phenomenal.
And I'm really, really impressed with Oiwa's performance. And he had, a, he had a real tough opponent to have to deal with in there today. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. The K1 World Grand Prix 2019 Japan K1 Women's Flyweight World Championship Tournament and Super Lightweight Title Match. Catch you next time.